Hi my lovely people, you're welcome back to my channel and my page. I'm still your girl Tochi Williams on a que. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, give, give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about the video on the comment section after watching. And always remember that these are all alleged information, okay? Because I do not live in the palace. So right now they say there is good news though, because this a uh, uh, the wife of Alake of Eberland and the uh, Olorise Kinat. They said they were three, but I did not get the last uh, other wife of Oba. That the three of them have come out to say that they are going to support Queen Naomi and do everything it will take for her to return back to her matrimonial home. That whatever it will take, that they are ready to face it. You know, and we, we heard that only of the first family, both the brother, the father, the everyone, they came to Queen Naomi telling her to please return back to the palace, not to wait until that June. You know, I don't know what their mission is. Queen Naomi have said it, that she doesn't want to be counted among the harem of women that the king own and all of that, that she is not returning back to the palace. But they said these women, especially this uh, wife of uh, Alake of Ibalan, they said this woman have been married to his husband for 53 years. <laughs> she have told Queen Naomi that there is no perfect marriage anyway. Of course, I agree with her. You know? And they said that her husband... Uh, there is so much pressure on him to marry other women. But he said nah, no, that Tokumbo is the only wife that he have decided to marry till the end of time. They said there was so much pressure, yet he did not succumb. And that is because he knows what he wants. And from what I heard, what I saw on social media, they said this man have been the longest as in, how will I put it, the highest lived king in Nigeria. As in, he have been the highest king that have been on that throne for such a very long time. And if you ask me, I would say that this man is able to get to this level because he got married to just one woman. If you ask me, because whether you like it or not, you see women, we are headache. Serious one. <laughs> You know, dealing with one woman is not a, a small thing. Not to talk of six. Ha! Huh. So you won't blame a, 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 a KBSC if he gets confused sometimes or if he feels manipulated sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, they said this woman and the Olo Rishikina, they have told Queen Naomi that it is high time he go, she returns back to the palace. That if she is afraid of going back to the palace that they are ready to go with her spend some days with her in that palace to prove to her that there is nothing that nothing that this woman can do to her i don't know now they said that when Naomi told them that she will return back to her matrimonial home in due time that she is waiting to hear the voice of god uh, I, I believe it 100 percent because i believe she is working according to guidance of God, on how to return, on when to return, and when not to return. You know, and I believe if God, if the Holy Spirit decided that she is going back to that palace now or tomorrow, even when the women are there, that she will return back. Yes, I believe so. Because Queen Naomi is a church girl. She's not just a church girl. She is a devoted daughter of Zion. A devoted, when I mean devoted, she devotes her time even before she got married. Uh, news ha uh, has it that she became a born again at the age of 17. And ever since then, she has been serving God. She has been on the God's vineyard. Even when she got married to Kabiesi, when she she was brought to fame, as in when she least expected it, it did not make her to change her service to God. She remained there. She was devoted she was taking it that serious. She, she never played with that service of God for once. And you, you think that God is going to... <laughs> no, 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 no. See, our God is a God that rewards people for their hard work. As long as you work in God's vineyard, God will reward you handsomely. And I believe Kwenomi's case will not be different. 
Of course, God is rewarding her already. But you see this marriage, God is going to restore it in a way that it will marvel a lot, a lot of people. And I believe the reason they said Kabiesi's family, they all came begging her to return back to the palace might be because of the dream that Kabiesi had. They said Kabiesi came to Akure telling Kwinomi her dreams, that in his dream, sorry, that in his dream, that they told him that if Kwinomi returns back to the palace, use water and face the east and pray the west, the north and the south. That the moment she do this prayer and call on her God, that the women are going to be leaving the palace one after the other. One after the other until they all leave the palace. <laughs> I'm not surprised though. Do you know that I'm not surprised when I hear this news? Because before now, a lot of prophets and prophetess have been saying it that a time will come when they will leave the same way they enter the palace. And Kwenomi will be the only woman standing. So I believe it is not time yet. When it is time, <laughs> we'll see it. Everyone will know that God has started working. Although God is working because uh, several prophecies have revealed that the battle is over. Yes, the battle is over spiritually, but we are in the physical. And I believe since it is over, it, is, it has been won in the spiritual realm. It will start to manifest in the physical realm soon. And only then would these people understand that we normally serve a living God. So, and for these women, these great women, the great wives of great others, to come and give their full support and pledge to be with Queen Naomi and, and ensure that she returns back to the palace, that is to tell you that God is at work. Even when the old ladies are working tirelessly to ensure that she did not return back to that palace. But all I do know is that they will be put to shame. You see, all of them who are working against Queen Naomi's return to the palace, they will be put to shame, whether they like it or not. Because in due time, the moment Queen Naomi hears from God, <laughs> the way it will happen, it will surprise all of them. One thing I do know in this life is that, you see, uh, darkness can never overshadow light. The moment light sets in, darkness will disappear automatically. Whether it wants to disappear or not, it will surely disappear unless light has not come. And in this uh, 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 scenario, Gwenomi is the light. I'm not saying this person is darkness or that person is darkness, but I do know that Gwenomi is the light. And the moment she decides to enter, Darkness will surely disappear. Anyway, guys, I will always remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And share my video. I love you guys. Bye for now.